My name is Cora Blunt, and I'm from the Rocky Mountains of Canada, and I have a new record called Things That Can't Be Undone. I want you to come see my show. I'm desperate for you to come see my show. I'm begging you to please, please come see my show. I looked in the camera for that part. Good evening, Toronto. This is the first song off our new album. This is our uh, eighth record in, my, I guess, in quite a few years, and it's uh, it's funny because after a while you make so many of them that you sort of like. I used to be a control freak, and now I'm not anymore. I got over that. I'm into other people's help. Usually, I have a pretty tight control on what the band's doing, but this time I just let them run wild. And the producer Dave Cobb, he, he likes to have the band unrehearsed, so normally we rehearse the crap out of it and kind of dial things in before we go in. But at this time. We sort of went in, like I had the songs written, but in terms of what the guys in the band were playing, it was sort of, it was sort of left undone. <laughs> that's a good idea, I never thought of that, that's great, I'm gonna use that. Because that's just a line from one of the songs, but yeah, because of the fact that we all recorded in one room together, you can't, there's a lot of bleed in the microphone, so if somebody screws up, the whole band's gotta do it over again, so. So yeah, that's a good reason to call the record things that can't be undone. The weight of the gun And the wrong I have done Some songs come in an afternoon and There's a couple of record songs on this record that I've been working on for years, actually. The, the first song called Weight of the Gun, I've had this riff, this, this guitar riff for maybe 10 years. It's like... liked it and never know what to do with it. It ended up being kind of a theme riff for sort of like a motown -y soul song called Wit With A Gun. And there's another song called Sutter City, which is kind of a military history song about Iraq. And um, I've been working on that for four or five years. It's weird because I'll know I have a good chorus and I just can't get verses, or sometimes it's the other way around. Like I've got a list of stuff that I'm working on now, like dozens of songs that, that I know are good, I just can't finish them. But eventually they, they finished, hopefully. This is another one from the new record. I was born in this valley on this ranch I was raised I learned to lope rope and dally on the S lazy age yeah the, the US has a real cool underground country scene you know all country or Texas country or outlaw country whatever you want to call it but yeah we, we're sort of become we, we played in Texas and Oklahoma so much that we're sort of they sort of adopted us down there we got a lot of friends and bands. We tour with them down there. Um, we do pretty well in Montana and Colorado, Wyoming. The last tour since Cabin Fever, our last record, we've had really good shows in the cities too, like Seattle and Portland and DC and New York and Minneapolis. So it's it's coming. It's cool. The U.S. the U.S. audiences we have kind of mirror the Canadian ones because up here we sort of straddle, like half of our audiences are rural people that are into country music, and the other half are sort of urban people who maybe are CBC listeners that like the songwriting part. So it's a sweet, it's a cool mix. And the States is similar. We got your NPR listeners mixed with your cowboys from Bend, Oregon. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I live in southern Alberta, in the foothills of the Rockies, and my family's been there since the turn of the century on both sides, and they're, they're all cattle people and rodeo people and ranchers, and they were doing that kind of thing in Utah and Nevada before that, so I'm pretty, um, pretty rooted in the, in the West, like in terms of culture, culture, like kind of frontier cowboy stuff. That's just what I grew up with, and 
and uh, you know, I live, I spend a lot of time in the city now, but that, that's my, it goes way back in my family, so I, I feel quite rooted in, in singing about that stuff. And I, f I find it interesting to contrast that kind of tradition with modern life. Well, it was pretty touch and go from the very first night, fiercest action that I'd ever seen. Ambush come and we had to dismount, get busy fighting out in the street. Yeah, my band, the Hurtin' Albertans, are, I think we always joke that Grant's the new guy because he's only been here for 12 years, but, but yeah, we've been together for a long time and covered a lot of ground and played a lot of shows together. So we have cool musical ESP. And they're all really capable, like, they have different backgrounds. Grant's kind of a blues country guy, and Brady, the drummer, is kind of a rock guy, and the bass player is a, is a fun, um, jazz background, so, so they're really capable. I've never had a situation where I've come to them with a, a new song with a different spin on it that they, they haven't been able to handle, and they always have cool ideas, they're really great. I feel like, I feel good about us because there's a lot of bands that they peak about record number two or three, and I actually think we're starting to really get into some interesting territory, and, and I think we're sort of peaking late, which is, which is pretty cool. I think this record and Cabin Fever are some of our best works. Thanks, folks.